going to be on. I know that everyone was really busy and I wanted to make this video so I can make sure that you guys all um, get the information and can continue growing from here. So we're in week five of our Emerald to Diamond group and we talked a lot about um, social media and the coaching opportunity this week. So why is it so important for us to post about the coaching opportunity? Because if we don't post about it, people don't know about it. Um, sometimes people are just afraid of taking that step. They don't know what's involved. So the more we can talk about, you know, what we do as coaches and how it has changed us is going to maybe help them take that next step into starting the business with us. Um, so with that said, I did ask you guys to make a YouTube video on why people should pick you as their coach. Some of you have done this and some of you have not. So just make sure that you are doing the assignments. When you're making these videos, I know it's scary. It's stepping out of that comfort zone, something we're all afraid of doing. But once you get uncomfortable, you're going to get comfortable because it's going to become second nature to you. And the more you can show others what you're doing, they're going to relate to you and they're going to come to you rather than someone else who already made that YouTube video and showed, you know, what's possible for them. So please make sure that you get the assignment done. I know we're busy. We're all busy. Heck, if you need to make it in your car, make the video in your car, but just get it done. Okay, make sure you take action. If you're not taking action, it's going to be hard to reach your goals. I'm not saying this to be your teacher. I'm not saying it to be your mother. I'm saying it because I want you to be successful. And I know that once you get over that fear and step out of your comfort zone, um, it's going to help you a lot. Um, one of the hardest things for me initially when I started this business is making videos. I was very afraid to talk in front of the camera. I wasn't comfortable. Um, I stuttered over my words a lot, and you know this sometimes I still do, but since doing it and practicing it, I have gotten much better and I feel a lot more comfortable. So just make sure you keep practicing and practicing and you will get better at it. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about um, one of the videos that I had you guys watch, and it was Shaleen Johnson, and it was part of the Shaleen Show with the 30 day push and with the confidence club, um, goal setting and having an incredible year with 2015. So we're in the year 2015. We're already a couple months into it, but we still have a lot of time to do whatever we need. So if we want to make some really, really big, scary goals, then that's what we need to do. But I want to make sure that you guys are setting yourself up for 2015 and you can make this year the best year you possibly can. Because if you can do that and you can put in the time, put in the effort, sacrifice a little bit of time into your business and not treat it just like a hobby, but treating it like you put a million dollars into this business, you are going to get a great reward in return out of this. So the concept of a push goal. It is a goal that is on your list of goals, but if you make this goal happen, the others are going to follow. And this is supposed to be a heavy goal, something that means a lot to you. Now, like Shalene said, about 90% of goals are financial goals. So whether it's, you know, being able to stay at home with your family and with your kids, whether it's doing something with your house, whether it's buying a new car or getting your kids uh, college paid for, um, fixing up something. It all relates to finance, finances. So achieving this goal is going to help you create that domino effect so the other ones can happen. And this is what you start with, this big, heavy goal that all the other ones are going to follow if you can just really laser focus onto this one and make it happen. So make sure that it has power behind it um, and we're going to take action. So. You want to set your goals for not the entire year, but what I want you guys to do is set your goals for the next 90 days. Now, I know we're almost done. We're already in week five of this Emerald to Diamond group, but I want you still to set goals for the next 90 days, okay? These are going to be short-term goals, and I want you to make nine or ten goals with this. Put it on paper, write it down, put it on your computer, print it out, however you want to do it, but 
out of those nine or 10 goals, you're going to have a push goal that is going to drive the others. So I'm going to give you some examples of goals that I would write down or that someone else can write down. So focusing on your career, whether it's improving with your social media, Instagram, a like page, getting a blog up and running, um, whether it's your personal fitness, whether it's faith, whether it's family, um, a hobby that you want to pursue, um, helping your downline succeed with the coaching. Um, make sure that these goals are big and scary. Like these are goals that you don't want to write down. You don't want to tell anyone about them because you're afraid of failure. These are the goals you want to put down because they are the ones that are heavy and meaningful. And it's going to make an impact on your career, on your life. So make sure that you make these goals a priority. And how are we going to do that? We are going to put a date on it. Whenever you put a date on something, you make it a priority. And another thing that makes it a priority is telling others about your goals, which is why I want you guys to post your goals in the group once you're done. Because once you tell people, you're not only holding yourself accountable, but then you have others that know what you're doing and they hold you accountable. And that's exactly what we do in this Push to Diamond group. You know, I'm not here to to try to overwhelm you. I'm not here to be your teacher. I'm not here to be your mother. I'm simply here to help you stay accountable because you made a goal of getting to diamond by a certain date. And that's why we do this. It's just an accountability. It's me supporting you through the tough times and giving you tips and advice along the way to help you get to that bigger goal. So it's time to laser focus on these goals, on these big goals that are scary, that you don't want to tell anyone about, but you're going to tell people because it's going to help you in the long run. Make sure that you attack these goals. Attack them, like I said, like there is no end. You are going to laser focus. Um, this is the end all be all. You put a million dollars into this business and that's what you're going to get out of it is so much more. Um, if you treat it like a hobby, you're not going to get anything out of this. It's going to continue staying like a hobby. And you know what's going to happen is when you treat something like a hobby, hobbies get expensive, right? So we are looking to get financial freedom out of this. So you have to put the work into it to get the financial freedom in return. So I want to see those goals. Make sure you post them in the group, and I would love to talk to you about them and help you in any way that I can to get you to reach them. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.